Um, we heard you were quite nervous about your second album. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. I think everyone's nervous about their yeah. second album. Like, it's, it's, it's a big thing, you know? Um, when you're releasing your second album, it's... Uh, you've made an impression already. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you impressed the girl already and... Um, it's like I took you to dinner now what do I do do I yeah. buy you a car do I say do you want to marry me a dinner then what a car no, no. <laughs> see I'll have that any day how, how far, how far? <laughs> let's yeah, go saying, you gotta go in well, you, you, got, you, you gotta give me take you to dinner to my restaurant <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean like look, there's levels here Jay there's, <laughs> there's levels here okay <laughs> this is a we're talking about now you know what I mean oh man but yeah no of course like I think it's the second impression and, yeah. and naturally it, it, it's got pressures with it but um, I, I'm just mad excited more than anything like I'm just like of course it's nerve wracking and that comes with every second album but I'm just like I'm so happy I'm making this music right now you like, seem you seem very patient yeah no of and course think, you gotta think, be you yeah gotta be. exactly because a lot of people think feel like if, the, if, I, if people don't hear from me it's the end of the world and me people can forget do you know relevance what I mean? is everything in this industry yeah of course of course but um, like in order to to like push your own boundaries as an artist, you you can't, you can't be scared of being relevant, and and you can't be scared of like social media and all that stuff. You just gotta push forward. Of course, you gotta do work. If you go away for a while, you gotta yeah. do that work to to make another impression. But um, I, I don't feel scared of doing that because I'm like, let's go. Like I love what I do, so I'll do the work to to make sure people hear what I'm doing. You know. You've written music for people like Ed Sheeran, Emily Sande. Yeah. Who can we expect on the album? Um, do you know what I worked with a lot of writers on this album yeah. and a lot of um, artists um, but like when you're working in a studio with artists you get like about two days and the records that we made they were great but and I, I'm, I'm trying to go in like you had the first not good record enough. Um, and it wasn't that they're not good enough they were great records but yeah. they just weren't what I wanted on my album okay. you know what I mean and, and I think it was the same for all the artists I was working with it's like we were like these are great records but I feel they were fit for someone else right. um, whereas yeah and I, I just I like I'm, I'm uh, every record is getting like no sleep like literally I'm not sleeping going I'm in. in the studio I've got an orchestra together I've got strings I've got brass and I'm like orchestra. let's go let's go in That's let's crazy. go in like let's make sure everything's 100% so and there's no one else on the album this whole album is there's there's other artists like I used um, do you know Grace from um, uh, Clean Bandit yeah, yeah. we um, we um, she done some of the strings on, on the new record Let It Be um, with uh, like a crew that she's got like cool. so um, I called her up and she just came over and done some stuff worked with Jamie Cullen we played uh, like some piano on some of the wow, records nice. so like I, I think it's been more uh, collaborations with musicians more than artists 